So, uh, but number four, I tear up, I tear up about Trayvon Martin. I tear up about that poor brother. Excuse me, I'm sort of tearing up right now. Look, this young boy, he was a boy. Just going, I mean, it could... Trayvon Martin could have been any of us. You know, just walking. We do it all the time. You go to the store, get you some Skittles and what, what else did he have, brother? He said Skittles and a Coke. What did he have? Skittles and a drink, tea or whatever it was. He is going home, minding his own business. And, and, and here come this animal from out of nowhere. And then because the animal was losing the fight, the coward went in his pocket because he, he wouldn't even mess with Trayvon. He knew he had a weapon in his pocket. And he shot that boy in the heart. I can't get over it. It, makes, it tears me up. It made me very, very angry. And I post some of my old, yeah, it was Skittles and iced tea. I post some of my old videos. And I'm wearing my hoodie in support of Trayvon Martin. And I call myself the Black Dragon during that period of time. And uh, it makes me angry. One of the reasons why myself, I did not want children. That's one of the reasons. Because if you kill my boy, like especially like that, you kill my daughter, Somebody got to die. It's simple as that. Now, I'm, I want to say something, but I'm not going to do that on YouTube. Because <clears throat> this I don't play. I feel for Trayvon Martin. But when I heard his parents, sh shuck buckle, buckle shuck, or however you want to call it. Oh, I well, let's forgive and and then and, and they start talking that old weak stuff whatever you should i don't care about your money i don't care about all that tittling wink stuff that y'all talking about you, you killed my boy and i saw his father this is his flesh and blood this is my daddy and he act like oh well i i got other sons or, or whatever so i love trayvon and I will always respect Trayvon. And I love that boy like he he's my own son. But when your own relatives don't give a damn about you and they sell off for money, I can't, I'm not, I can't get involved and support that. So uh, his family, I believe they got a few million dollars from the housing project, wherever the hell it was, whatever. And they probably went to Disneyland. Trayvon in the ground. And even if you take the money, you take that. It's not your money. It's blood money. You take that money and now you continue to fight so others don't, other people can save their sons and daughters. They take the money and go to Disneyland and buy cars and Mercedes. And I love you, Brother Trayvon. But that I cannot when your own people, when your own people sell you out, you're just something that makes them or bring them more comfort.
They don't care about you no more like that. Now, they could be doing something in the neighborhood. They could be doing some things. I wish they would tell us. But the thing about it is, and it's also makes black men in this country look bad. That this killer, we run around here and we will murder each other. And this killer is still on the streets. This man is so bold, he put the gun that he murdered that boy up for sale. And we sit around here as men and we tolerate that. Then they get angry at, at Angel Snub Nub Seven because somebody got to go to the morgue. See, if we was a people, we're not a people because this would have been done. But they, those are the Christians. That's how they handle things. Those are the Muslims. We all in our little separate tribe and whatever. That's how things go. So, so tonight, Trayvon Martin and his family will be on CBS you know, crying and, and all that and whimpery stuff instead of saying, I don't know what happened to George Zimmerman. He just popped up. That makes me cry. And Obama even said, Trayvon could have been my son. Not only can Trayvon be your son, Trayvon could have been you. Some of us out here, we've had guns pulled out on us, not only by the cops, but by other black people. And then you see them going down the street, la, 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 and scared you out your, your mind, or they killed your mama. I'm talking about black folks now, this black on black crime stuff, because that's something that should not be tolerated either. You're not killing my mama, you're not killing my dog, and then you run around here smoking your weed, having a good time. Not in our community. We allow that. I may not live to see the day when the black man finally become a black man. I hear you talking, black man. I'm a warrior African. I'm a strong God. Yeah, that, your actions don't show that. Your actions don't show that. Because if you was a god, if you was a warrior, there's no way to hell that Trayvon or any of our people, their killers, their murders, will be walking on the street having a good time. George Zimmerman on TV, and they show him partying. What? Are you serious? I'm not the bravest person in the world. I'm going to tell you, I'm not the bravest person in the world. I'm not going to tell you I'm a warrior and, and I, I do this. And I'm never going to tell you that. But certain things should not be tolerated. And whether you are afraid or you are actually brave, there are certain things that should, can, should not be tolerated. You're not hurting mine. So all this huffing and puffing you see from these blackity black, black conscious, Hebrew, whatever, the, all that huffing, nobody impressed by that stuff. We have a war going on in, in the Ukraine. I don't know whether they're going to win or lose. Those men said, this is my country. I don't give a damn how big and bad you are. I'm going to fight to the last man. You don't see that type of behavior among the black men and, and women. Women, too. You, you, need to, you need to stand up, too. Because it's the sisters that make a strong man. You the mama. You don't are at the beginning. He's weak because your ass started him off as weak. You need to get him off your titty and he's still. And even when he get grown with 32 teeth in his mouth, there you go. You don't give that man no titty. So where my house at? Where my resources at? Where my nuclear power plants at? Where my tanks at? 
Where my jet craft at? I'm not putting you, I'm not giving you no titty. Whether you gum in the titty or you got 32 teeth in your mouth, you don't get nothing till you give me mine. You earn your woman like you earn your paycheck. You don't go to nowhere and they just give you a paycheck. You got to go there and work for it. Even if you have your own business, you got to work. But these women, these sisters, these women give you babies and you ain't even worth it. Trayvon Martin's daddy wasn't worth him. He did not earn Trayvon. He just found a woman. She, she hot. Oh, baby, just give it to me. And there you go. He didn't earn it. Earn Trayvon. You, we don't earn life. That's a serious thing. Yeah, you might earn some money and you might earn a car. We have not earned life. Kill my boy. Are you serious? So we give silence and we remember Trayvon Martin. The Dickens of Reality wanted me to talk about this Ukraine Russian thing, of which I'm not the brightest person in the world. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a messiah. And I'm like in the Clark Gable movie, frankly, Scarlett, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't care. But it's some things that would need to be pointed out. Because I know there, there's some delusional views out here. So this is the reality's temple on earth, and we have to keep things on the real. In 1995, myself and a couple of other brothers, we got in the car, and there was a call to go to Washington, D.C., for something called the minion.